Dexter, a fawn-coloured French bulldog, lives with his human in an apartment in New York City. But Dexter has another life his human knows nothing about. He is the famous Detective Dexter. Every morning, Dexter hops onto the fire escape where he keeps an office. His trusty assistant, a Pomeranian named Peanut, is always early and there is always a line of city dogs who need help. Today at the front of the line is Philip the Field Spaniel. I stepped in mud, then I stepped on the pavement and got stuck. That wasn't mud, it was glue. Someone put glue outside my building. And there, look, they had to shave my paw. Shave my paw. Oh, dear. Well, your paw looks quite nice shaved, at least. But putting glue outside a building, that is a no-no. Could it have been a small child? Whoever it was, I'll get them and I'll glue them to the tree outside my building. The one we all pee on. Uh, sorry, Philip. We're not in the revenge business. Just as Philip is about to reply, a carrier pigeon drops down in a hurry. Dexter, I have an urgent message. The pigeon removes the note and reads. Come quick, stop. Trouble, stop. Squirrel King, stop. Westchester, stop. Love, Lana and Lucky, stop. Lana and Lucky? The ice cream truck twins? We, oui, they were lost and we got them home. They were so cute. I think we must help them. Excuse me, but it was my turn. Mm, oui, but Carrier Pigeon said urgent, so we must be on our way. Philip, come back tomorrow and we will help you find the glue fiend. Dexter and Peanut grab his skateboard and ride across town to the train. They hop on, and before they know it, they're in Westchester County. I don't really remember where they lived. It was green, had trees, the house was nice. I remember. They jump on Dexter's skateboard and they're off. A left, a right, a main road, a side road, another left and a quick right, and they're on the street. Nine Acres Lane. Number 125. Wow, you have a good memory, boss, that's for sure. It's part of being a detective. Always remembering the details, Peanut. Always remember the details. You do that, and I'll remember the snacks. <laughs> oh, Peanut. Lana and Lucky jump over the back fence and run right up to Dexter and Peanut. They are full-grown Rhodesian Ridgebacks. Dexter! Peanut! You're here! Duh, they're here. They're right there. I know, but they came! I told you, that carrier pigeon never fails. Well, sometimes they get sidetracked. Uh, um, we are here? What is going on? Well, we're preparing for Thanksgiving. Our human makes us the best stuffing ever. Yeah, dog friendly. It's so good. Uh, but she only makes it at Thanksgiving. We look forward to it all year. Yeah, and the turkey and the sweet potatoes. We get those all the time. But it's more special on Thanksgiving. And how could we resist pairing the stuffing with a slice of fresh turkey? Ah. Yeah, well, it's not going to happen this year. Not unless... Dexter, you gotta help us. Okay, tell us. All this talk of food, I'm losing my concentration. Well, the Nut King, I mean Squirrel King, he's taking all the nuts. All the squirrels are out collecting, every single nut. They even got into the grocery store and took them. Yeah, we won't have any for our Thanksgiving stuffing. Or the humans for theirs, too. We've got to stop them, Dexter. I see. This is a problem. Those squirrels are very selfish collectors when they want to be. Do you know where the Squirrel King lives? Oh yeah, down on Dandelion Street. Follow us. Well, they still bicker. That I remember. We oui, Peanut. They were so funny. Still the same little ones on the ice cream truck. Yeah, just huge. They could eat three of me and still be hungry. <laughs> okay, this is it. In there. They're in the trees. Watch your step. Uh, you're not coming? No way. Last time we tried, they pelted us. With nuts. That is so not okay. Dexter, lead the way. You don't want to go first? Uh, no way. <laughs> of course. Dexter heads into the trees with Peanut behind him. They go until they reach a mountain of sticks and twigs and leaves. Hmm, that's weird. 
Oui, Peanut. Mm, let's just climb over it. So they do. But when they're almost to the top, the twigs start to come loose. Peanut and Dexter scramble to keep their footing, but the twigs start to slide away, revealing an enormous pile of nuts. They begin to fall. Avalanche! Peanut, hold on! Dexter and Peanut slide down with the mountain of nuts as it collapses. They land on the ground, but there are so many nuts around, they keep slipping. Uh, 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 this is nuts! Cashews, walnuts, hazelnuts, and peanuts! Finally, they make it back to the grass. That is a lot of nuts! Uh, uh, tell me about it. Who dares come into our territory? And you broke my mountain! You shall pay. The Squirrel King and several smaller squirrels jump down out of the trees and surround Dexter and Peanut. You must be the king of the squirrels. Correct. And you are dead meat. Nope. Very alive. Very alive. You ruined our stash. Who told you you could come here? Well, you have stolen all of the nuts and it's Thanksgiving time. Yeah. A time of sharing, and family, and friends. Who cares? <laughs> we need to stock up for winter, and these nuts belong to us. Not the ones from the grocery store. Oh, the ones from the grocery store. They're ours. Mon Dieu. He is crazy. Yep. <laughs> How about this? You have what you have now, and leave the rest alone. Do not take any more. You do not need it. But... I want it, and you're getting in my way. Listen, Buster, you're getting on my nerves, and I'm hungry, and you do not want to see me when I'm hungry. So leave the nuts alone, or we'll come back with a whole crew from New York City. And that's something you really don't want. You wouldn't dare bring the squirrels of the city out here. Oh, I would, and they'd be running the place faster than you can crack a walnut. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's be friends. We'll stick to the trees, whatever we'll find, okay? You better. Come on, Dexter, let's roll. Peanut walks away. Dexter follows. Did it work? Dexter looks back out of the corner of his eye. I think so, Peanut. You were brilliant. <laughs> we better hurry up and get out of here. I need a snack, and fast. When they reach the edge of the forest, Lana and Lucky are waiting. Did you uh, see him? Oh, we saw him, all right. He will not be stealing any more nuts from this door. Your human can make your stuffing now. Oh, Dexter, Peanut, you are the best. How can we ever thank you? Mm, get me a pretzel and a pop cup? Stat? You got it. Lana and Lucky take Dexter and Peanut for a snack. Oh, mm. ah, ah, that's better. Hangry? Very. Well, we should be getting back. It is late. Thanks again, guys. We are always here for you. Dexter and Peanut ride the skateboard back to the train. Well, another day, another case closed, Peanut. Yeah, and that was a close one. When that mountain collapsed, I thought we were goners. And yet, we live to tell the tale. That's why they call us the D-Team. <laughs> <laughs>